Okay, we're going to start. Uh, so it's my great pleasure to start the afternoon session. Um, and uh, our topic is, uh, let's uh, get the exact one, hum humanitarian medicine, historical, ethical, and legal aspects. And you have two chairs here, me, uh, Maya Pellegras, and um, are you, you're a doctor or professor. Choose doctor, 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 lawyer. Uh, doctor, lawyer uh, Kenneth Berger from Canada, right. uh, who's going to talk later on. So I'll introduce him then uh, in greater length. Um, our first uh, talk uh, is um, on the topic of treatment of Syrian patients in Israel, caretakers, perceptions, and attitudes. And um, it will be presented by my two lovely colleagues here. Um, who are both uh, nurses from uh, the hospital, uh, um, the Galilee Hospital in Haria, um, which you'll hear in a second why it's the location to speak about this topic. Uh, so, um, Ms. Tanya Kronos and Ms. Abir Dabach, um, go ahead, 15 minutes, we're going to check it. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, my name is Abir. In the next uh, 15 minutes, we will present you our uh, study. Uh, the title is uh, The Treatment of Syrian Patients in Israel, Caregivers, uh, uh, at Perception and Attitudes. Uh, also, Dr. Ohad Ronen is not here, but uh, he, uh, he is one of our colleagues. Okay, introduction. The concept of treatment uh, the Syrian patient in Israel is a new and uh, very interesting topic. Uh, since the, the 2013, uh, Israel has uh, started to absorb, absorb uh, wounded Syrian patients uh, from the uh, war zone area uh, uh, from Syria, and uh, all the patients uh, came to a, a medical Galil Medical Center in uh, in our hospital. Um, uh, they brought the treatment in the Galil Medical Center. About 70% of the patients were uh, brought uh, to our Galil Medical Center, and uh, 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 most patients uh, came with uh, multiple trauma injuries, and uh, uh, they came a few hours after their injury in Syria to take treatment in our hospital. At the beginning, all the patients uh, were in, uh, in the various uh, de department in the hospital, but uh, uh, because of safety problems, uh, they put all the patients in one department, uh, which uh, called guest uh, department, with the uh, a guard, uh, with safety guard uh, outside. Uh, only medical staff uh, can enter this department. Um, uh, visitors cannot uh, enter the, uh, this department. Um, uh, for sure, there's a difficulty uh, in the uh, treatment of Syrian patient, uh, uh, they they first first they come from a hostile country and hostile culture, and uh, in the background there is a lot of so social and moral uh, and cultural limitation, such as language and uh, and mentality. Um, uh, when uh, when uh, I, I personally uh, walked for three months in uh, this department, uh, uh, the guest department, when I told uh, that I w will go to work there, I felt so afraid because I afraid afraid from uh, the un from the unknown. Uh, it's a new, uh, it's a, a, a hostile culture, a hostile uh, patient. Uh, uh, with a uh, multiple injury and uh, and uh, we didn't know what we didn't ex expect what uh, we will uh, go go through so since 2013 uh, the, in the last four years, 2,500 Syrian patients were treated in Galil Medical Center. Uh, average length of stay was 20, uh, 23 days in average. Uh, much, uh, some uh, some uh, remain much longer, even few, few months and uh, uh, one year and a half. Uh, of course, the uh, over, uh, overall cost is in accordance with. Uh, 
So we have a lot of challenges here with treatment of the Syrian patient. We have the patient law right in 1996, uh, which says that every uh, person is entitled to receive a proper uh, uh, receive proper uh, care without any discrimination of ethnicity, uh, gender, uh, uh, color, or uh, religion. And we have also the Geneva Comet uh, in 1992 and Hippocrates Oath, and uh, the. On the other side, we have an ethical dilemma. It's an enemy country, a hostile country, a foreign patient, and um, and uh, we in the, the literature was published. Uh, there was uh, a lot of published study uh, in the literature regarding to, to this uh, uh, ethical dilemma. Um, as uh, God's hand and his friend from Hadassah Hospital in Israel, who asked the question: treat or not to treat. Uh, this uh, question make a lot of noise, and uh, they talk about uh, two uh, two Palestinian uh, uh, patients who were at, uh, involved in attacks in Israel, and uh, their uh, conclusion was uh, there's an unimportance to give uh, guidelines for uh, medical uh, uh, to, to guidelines for treatment regarding uh, to, to a foreign or a, a foreign patient in Israel. Um, okay, uh, we, we uh, our participant in uh, this research was physicians and nurses in the Galil Medical Center. Uh, there was we we checked background variables like uh, age, gender, role, uh, mother language, ethnicity, uh, and uh, birth country, and we checked. Uh, uh, and we have in this uh, research 106 nurses, th 35 physicians. The age was between 24 to 26. Uh, the education between uh, 12 to 27. Uh, work work experience from one year to 45 years. Uh, we uh, divided two types of of questionnaire. Uh, the first one is the concept of treatment. Uh, 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 the concept of treatment uh, the Syrian patient. And the second one is the concept of treatment, the Israeli patient. And uh, there was a, a 131 questionnaire were filled, 44 uh, from the Syrian patient questionnaire, and 97 from the uh, Israeli patient questionnaire. Uh, 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 we have 51 uh, men and 90 women, 50 Hebrew speaking, 38 Arabic speaking, 33 Russian and the uh, other. Uh, 76 identif identified as Jewish, uh, 20 as Muslim, 31 as Christian, and 14 as a Druze. Uh, so here we try to uh, uh, check if there is a difference between caregiver perception of treatment of Israel patient versus the treatment of Syrian patient. Uh, regarding also, we checked if uh, all the background variables is related uh, to this difference between uh, the, the, this, uh, the concept treatment. Uh, the, the, this uh, research is so uh, important. Why? Because uh, in this uh, research, we want to raise the self-awareness uh, to the difficulty of treatment in uh, foreign and uh, Syrian patients. Uh, because there's also a lot of social and moral uh, problems, uh, uh, and uh, we want to opening a discuss in uh, the various department in the in the hospital about uh, about this issue and uh, enable emo uh, emotional ventilation also, and uh, we want to also building a cultural pro program for handling uh, cultural and environmental bar barriers such as the language culture equipment and more so we had a very uh, different result that some of them came as a surprise um, in a question do you feel comfortable dealing with your patient the um, the israel pa um, israel question you know, the hebrew speaking said that they felt more comfortable than the russian speaking in a question, do you feel satisfaction in your work dealing with the patients? The one from the Israel questionnaire said that uh, the Hebrew speaking felt more uh, comfort, more satisfaction than the Russian speaking, and the Jewish more than the Muslim speaking, and the uh, Hebrew speaking more than Arabic speaking. In a question in uh, anatomy, and uh, 
do you think that during this, uh, the treatment of a patient in your department, the patient anatomy, including medical confidentiality, informed consent, etc., is a guideline in treatment? So in Israel questionnaire, with, uh, as a care, caregivers, we feel more than there is anatomy to the patient. In a Syrian question, much less. Feeling obligation. Um, and we find that the physicians felt more obligation uh, dealing with the patient than the nurses in a, a Syrian uh, questionnaires. The Hebrew speaking felt more uh, obligation than the Russian speaking. And we came if, uh, different between the questionnaires. In a question of economic, an economic resource, do we feel um, that we gave too much? Economic resource. We found the difference between the questionnaires. Within Israel questionnaire, we felt that there is less um, economic uh, burden than in Syrian questionnaire. Frustration. The Israel questionnaire, the caregivers that take care of uh, Israel patient, felt less frustra frustration than the Syrian patients, than with the Syrian patient. The treatment is useless. Do I feel as a caregiver that what the treatment that I give is useless, that tomorrow it will be different? In Israel questionnaire, when we take care of Israel patients, we feel less, this statement is less talking to us. In the Syrian question, questionnaires, sorry, it was um, a significant different. We feel more um, useless that we do a half of job. Safe. Do I feel safe when I'm treating my patient? We couldn't find, we didn't find the difference between uh, questionnaires, but we did find a difference between um, Israel caregivers, when Israel it's uh, Jewish and Arabic uh, caregivers, and West European and others that most of the West are Rus Russian. Knowledge. Um, there we found that there is the more experienced the caregiver, the less he felt that the knowledge of the language is important to him. Environment conditions. Um, Hebrew speak, as, as you can see here, there is no difference between the questionnaires, but we can see that Hebrew speaking felt that the um, environment conditions were enough and adequate, ad, adequate than the Russian speaking, and Muslims felt more than the Jewish. Treatment has long-term um, effect. Do I feel as a caregiver that what I'm doing with the patients will help him tomorrow in a year from here? Um, in the answers, we find that the Israel um, caregivers felt that they give their, their caregiver is lost, uh, long uh, lasting, and the Russian speaking and the Western urine that it's Russian felt less culture and social gap. Do I feel that the culture and social gap is important and uh, something that makes us um, more difficult to treat? The Jewish felt less than the Muslims. With the, um, with the, with the previous question, we also ask examine general statement comparing each other after standardization for verbs. And the statement was, the state of Israel should enlist in the care of Syrian patients. We find that the, um, pa the caregivers that uh, was born in Israel felt more than the um, caregivers that were born in East Europe. The less experienced caregivers felt, um, felt more um, relent to this uh, statement than the more experienced, and the physicians felt more than the nurses. The state, do you think the Galilea Medical Center should take part in the treatment of Syrian patients? The doctor felt more um, agreeing with the statement and the um, Israelis that were born in Israel against versus nurses in the East European born that um, We have to remember that in Israel state born, some of them are Arabic and some of them are Jewish. Um, 
the statement, there is no reason of the state of Israel to invest resources in dealing with the citizen of an enemy state. We found that the nurses and the East European born uh, caregivers agree more with the statement than Israel uh, born uh, caregivers and doctors. One, in addition, we find that the higher education of the caregiver, the less, the more he agree with the uh, statement. We believe that for deeper understanding of our questionnaires, we need more information. So we're still gathering data in every, um, and ask more questions. How the difference between nurses and physicians due to difference in the character of work or uh, because the surgeon are the one that uh, learning a lot from the injuries that you don't see every day. And in on another hand, you have nurses that have to stand in front of the patient and to explain why the treatment is being delayed because the Syrian patient came first. And as a nurse that uh, took care of uh, uh, Syrian patients, and I had to explain to the family why the grandmother is lying for three days in uh, without food because she's waiting for an examination and every time comes in as a Syrian patient, it's a difficult uh, situation we have to stand in. Um, and it, all the differences come from the um, education, the personal experience, or the uh, political um, understanding of the situation. Like uh, as a nurse, we're understaffed in a hospital. And at the beginning, when Syrian patients were brought to the hospital, we didn't get more nurses or more uh, physicians. It was on us. And when I'm working for three people, instead of two people, because I know that the nurse that's supposed to work with me is working with the Syrian patients, it puts me in a difficult situation again. Um, and take home messages. The hostile background of patient did not affect perception of safety. Language did not serve as a barrier, and we did say, and well, I thought it would. Caretakers feel more committed and obligated in treatment of Israel patients and gave a more central role to, for Israel patients' rights. Although caregivers felt comfortable treating Syrian patients, and though treatment was viewed a shaving long-term long effect in both groups, they felt significantly more frustrated in their practice in the treatment of Syrian patients. Why is that? We have yet to analyze the relationship between care, care givers general reception and their perception of personal practice the importance of ventilation and open discussion need to further to further and endorse multicultural tolerance for more effective treatment thank you thank you